Congratulations. Thank you very much. How's it feel to be a winner? Oh, pretty magical. It's pretty incredible. I never anticipated it, so it's like a really nice, special surprise. And sort of, it makes it feel more special. What were the highlights of your test? Oh my goodness. Um, I think firstly, just being here, just being able to ride the task was pretty special. Um, I think the feeling that he gave me throughout the test, like especially the mediums and the lateral run, I felt like, oh yeah, he's really developing, he's really improving. And I'm like, yeah, this is what we've been working towards. How did you prepare for the championship? Um, well, he's a pretty very horse, so I've been like keeping up with my show jumping. We haven't been cross country training yet because of the ground, but we're doing lots of dressage, and I do a lot of packing with him as well to build strength and like bit of hill work. So yesterday I was just mooching around our local village, which I thought well, great preparation. But I like to keep it very with him because he puts his mind busy and things like that. So it's really helped him sort of get get in the zone. Um, so you've also event? Yes. Yeah. Um, what made you choose the area? Festival? I think for him, just sort of getting introduced into the, um, the dressage world, it was a nice stepping stone to get into into the dressage and into the higher levels. So I just thought, oh, it's his first proper year doing this bigger stuff than what he's done. So I thought it was a really nice area to start. And then just sort of, it, it offered us so much to progress. And that, well, I never just made to get to this stage. So I, I'm, yeah, it's just been really nice to be able to let him see this sort of stuff and really progress his training. And you're currently studying the A levels. I am. How yes. do you find balancing studying? Oh, it, yeah, it's been very intense. I've been lucky to keep it going this way. So it's a great team at home. Like everyone who helps out is really enabled me to keep going to this far. So I feel like this is going to be my last competition before I sit my A levels. Um, so I'm going to go for it as well. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been tough. But when I think when you want to do something, you make sure you get it done. And I wanted to to be able to keep the horses going and keep the balance. And, I was going, yeah. What's he like at home? Oh, he's, he's such, so easy at home. He's so relaxed, so laid back. He's, he just loves all the attention. Like, I can spend hours just messing around with him. Probably not even but but um, yeah, he's just so easy. I like to just like spend a lot of time with him and just tacking up and doing everything. He just loves the attention and he kind of gets it. <laughs> and finally, what are your future aspirations? I'm just going to let time sort of tell and see how it goes and just go step by step but I guess long term girls will be able to push him up the, yes, the dressage levels of, at the same time as running it alongside the eventing and just see how far and how much he takes and just just kind of let him sort of find our path and, and just go from there see how far we can go. Perfect. Well congratulations. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.